Today I will show you how you can get the best FPS on Call of Duty Warzone Pacific for low end PC on Windows 11. But before, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and like. First open the game, go down here to the options, then go to graphics, press on display. On the display mode, select full screen. Display monitor, select your monitor. Display adapter, select your video card. Render resolution, just select 100. Dynamic resolution, select disabled. Dynamic resolution frame rate target, select 10. Aspect ratio, select 16 by 9. Vertical sync, select disabled. Custom frame rate limit, select unlimited. Brightness, select 40. Display gamma, select 2.2 sRGB. NVIDIA Highlights, select Disabled, and NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency, select Enabled Plus Boost, press Apply Settings, then go up here to the Quality, on the Field of View, select 60, Camera Movement, select Least 50%, Streaming Quality, select Low, Texture Resolution, select Very Low, Texture Filter Anisotropic, select Low, Particle Quality, select Low, Bullet Impacts and Sprays, select Disabled Tessellation, select Disabled Dismemberment and Gore Effects, select Disabled On Demand Texture Streaming, select Disabled Film Extract, select 1 Film Grain, select 0 Anti-Aliasing, select Off Depth of Field, select Disabled World Motion Blur, select Disabled Weapon Motion Blur, select Disabled Shadow Map Resolution, select Low Cache Spot Shadows, select Disabled Cache Sun Shadows, select Disabled Particle Lighting, select Low Ambient Occlusion, select Disabled And Screen Space Reflection Select Disabled, press Apply Settings, then go up here to the Interface. On the Subtitles, select Disabled, Color Blind Type, select Disabled, Tooltips, select Disabled, Horizontal Heads Up Display, select 100, Vertical Heads Up Display, select 100, Mini Map Shape, select Round, Mini Map Rotation, select Disabled Show Compass, select Disabled Kill Feed Duration, select 10 seconds Scroll down to System On the Frames Per Seconds Counter, select Enabled Server Latency, select Disabled Packet Loss, select Disabled GPU Temperature, select Disabled GPU Time Select Disabled CPU Time Select Disabled Show Mute Sound Widget Select Disabled Show Mute Voice Chat Widget Select Disabled System Clock Select Disabled Skip Introduction Movie Select Enabled And In Game Alert Icons Select Custom Press Apply Settings Then Press on Back Back again. Quit to desktop. Press yes. Open battle.net. Go to games. Installed. Press on Warzone. Then press here on options. Show in Explorer. Press on Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Scroll down until you find Modern Warfare. Not launcher. Right click on it. Press on show more options. Then press on Properties. Here you have to go to Compatibility. Check Disable Full Screen Optimization. Then go here to Change High DPI Settings. Check this box. Then press OK. Press Apply. OK. Close this page. Go again to the Options. Press on Scan and Repair. Wait a few minutes. When it is done, close this page. You need to go to the Start menu, then go to Settings. Go to Windows Update. 
press on check for updates and follow the steps to be up to date. Then go to system. Go to display. On the night light, select off. Then go to advanced display. Choose a refresh rate. Select the highest hertz you have on your monitor. Then go back to system. Go to the notifications. On the notifications, select off. Go back to system. Go to focus assist. Select here off. And down here on during these times, select off. Then go back to system. Go to power. Here on the power mode, you have to select best performance. Go back to system. Go to storage. On the storage sense, select off. Then go to cleanup recommendations. Select this too if you want to delete them. Press on cleanup. And press on continue. Then go back to system. Go to multitasking. On the span windows, select off. And on the title bar windows shake, select off. Go back to system. Go to remote desktop. On the remote desktop, select this to off. Go back to system. Go to clipboard. On the clipboard history, select this to off. Then go here to the personalization. Go to background. Here select picture or solid color. Do not select slideshow. Then go to apps. Go to apps and features. Here you have uninstall all the apps you no longer need by pressing on this three dots and uninstall. Then go to gaming. Go to Xbox Game Bar. On the Xbox Game Bar you have to select this to off. Go back to gaming. Go to captures. Record what happened. Select off. Capture audio. Select off. And capture mouse. Select off. Go back to gaming. Go to game mode. On the game mode you have to select this to on. Then go to privacy and security. Go to general. Here you have to select all this to off. Then go back. Go to speech. Select this to off. Go back. Go to inking and typing personalization. Select this to off. Go back. Go to diagnostic and feedback. Select this to on. Then go back. Go to activity history. Uncheck this box. Go back. Go to searching windows. Here select this to off. Select classic. And we are done with the settings. Now go down here to the search bar. Type task. Press on task manager. Here you have to go to startup. Now here you have to disable all the application you don't want to run in the background when your computer starts. Then close the page. Go again to the search bar. Type optimize. Press on defragment and optimize drives. Select your C drive. And press on optimize. Then go to the other drives you have. First press on analyze. And then optimize. Go again to the search bar. Type run. Press on run. Type here temp. Press OK. Press continue. Select all these files and delete them. Then go here again. Type percent temp percent. Press OK. Select everything from here and delete them. Go again here. Type refresh. Press OK. Press continue. The same select everything from here and delete them. Go again to the search bar, type performance. Press on adjust the appearance and performance of windows. First check adjust for best performance to uncheck all this. Then check custom. And check smooth edges of screen fonts. And show thumbnails instead of icons. Then press apply. And OK. Now you have to be up to date with your video card driver, so if you have NVIDIA go to this website, and select here your specs from the video card. Then press on search. Press on download. And download again. Now if you have the AMD video card, go to this website, select here your video card you are using. Then just press on submit and follow the steps to be up to date, 
And that's all you had to do. I hope you found this useful. Don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next episode. Bye.